Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is iPhone Monitor here, and today I will be unboxing slash first looking this little baby, which is the Samsung Focus, which runs on Windows Phone 7. But before I start, I actually do have some social networks that I want you guys to go like, slash follow, slash add to your circle, and these are down below. It is Twitter, my Facebook fan page, and Google Plus, of course, all links down below. Now, basically, I did order this phone off eBay for about $158, unlocked and pretty much in brand new condition. It came with the USB cable, which is a micro USB, I believe, and it came with the phone, of course. I, I believe it has 8 gigabytes of memory, and I had to put my own SIM card. But don't worry, guys. I will be continuing to do iPhone videos because, of course, I do still have my iPhone 3GS. And I'm going to be getting the iPhone 5, which my contract is over, and when they come out with the iPhone 5. But I just got this for reviewing purposes because I felt like it. So basically, the packaging was just this USPS package, and it came with this little foam thing as you can see here the bubbly wrap and it came with some ebay nonsense and it came with this thing it didn't come with any original packaging that's why i got it for so cheap and now it's just go on the phone so of course i've not set it up yet and the screen is very vibrant so you just slide up like that it says welcome back because i was here earlier you can do emergency call which i'm not going to do because i don't want to get arrested or you can put us next so now it says windows phones term is view so i'm going to press accept and I'm gonna do Windows Phone settings. I'm gonna do recommended. And let's see, my time zone is Pacific time. Next. And Windows ID, I'm just gonna do it not right now. And I'm all done. So that's pretty much all it is, guys. It was a really easy setup, and it says Windows Phone. Hi, don't miss out on the five top tips. Basically, this phone is really cool. I'm interested to see how it's going to play out. It has a 5 megapixel camera. I'm pretty sure it's a single core Snapdragon processor. It's going to be really cool. You got your three capacitive touch buttons. One is the back. One is the Windows, which is like the home button. One is the search, which you can search with your Bing. And I'm basically just going to go run through it real quick. So basically, you just have your phone right there, of course, AT and T. And then you have your people, which includes Facebook, etc. You can import SIM contacts. You can do all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do all that right now. But then you also got your messaging, which is, of course, SMS text messaging. And I'm going to go back. And you also got email. I'm going to set the, all this up later. And then you got UVerse Mobile. And I don't have UVerse. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys this feature. Internet Explorer, which is revamped to be used with mobile, which is actually pretty cool. I hope it works fast. Oh, I'm actually not connected to my Wi-Fi yet, but okay, whatever. Let's go. Xbox Lab. I'm looking forward to this. I just actually canceled my live account, unfortunately. It's going to be canceled on August 16th, so I'm going to have to use that before it gets canceled, but it's going to be probably really cool. I'm just going to have to buy the game, so it's just going to kind of suck. Enough of me rambling. Let's go to the calendar. I'm going to have to import all of my calendar from my iPhone. Hopefully, it works as good as the iPhone calendar because I love the iPhone calendar. Next, you got your pictures, which is just your standard picture. Of course, the screen is amazing. It is a super AMOLED screen. And let's go music plus videos. It's a zoom center. You can just buy your music and videos from the marketplace. Then you got your marketplace, which is for your apps like Angry Birds, which I actually want to see if they have because I want to play that on this, this cool, cool screen. Then you got your navigator, which I think you might have to actually pay for through AT&T. Let's see what they've got to say. It's loading up the navigator, and I'm just going to do it later because it's taking too long. As you can see, those little cool tile transitions, they are actually pretty cool. Then you got AT&T radio, which I assume is free. Then you got the last thing, which is daily briefing, or now. I don't know what the heck that is, but now. Oh, weather, news, stocks, that kind of sort. And then you also got your side loading apps, which is all these alarms, calculate calendar games, Internet Explorer maps. Of course, it's all being Office. That's cool. You get Office. I did not know that. So, guys, I actually have been rambling a lot, but of course, this is just a first look. Look forward to a review coming soon. I hope you guys like this phone. I hope I get some good feedback. Sorry to mention, it does have a flash on the back as well. And I hope to like Windows Phone 7 a lot. And I'm going to try to see if this has the Mango update, if I can get it on here, and see if it has the Noto update, which is the one before Mango. But of course, I will be doing more iPhone videos because I am an iOS fanboy. I just want to get this for the hell of it. And anyways, guys, this is pretty much it. Please just follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, and add me to your circle on Google+. And if you want an invite, you can send me a personal message, and I'll give you an invite. I just ask you to subscribe and add me to all your social networks, and then I will give you an invite. So please, guys, just do that, and that's all I ask of you. Just please like this video up, subscribe, and ultimately, have a nice day.